All right, guys, we are now on episode two of the Nuzlocke challenge, where if I use a tower in my loadout and I lose with the tower, guys, it's banned. Now, currently, we have zero losses. We have played six matches. Today, we're going to try to make it out of Red Balloon Camp. But first things first, guys, I one of the things that was banned from the start of this challenge was Quincy because I had a viewer banned two towers and one hero. And Quincy's the only hero I have at the moment. So we've got a complete battle school. We've got to get... Are Gwendolyn heated up? So let's let's do this real quick. You know what I'm saying? Alright guys, we have finally finished the tutorial. I hope you guys liked that 10x speed run of it. We were zooming by it, but there we go. Let's go. Got Gwendolyn. Perfect. Doesn't get hotter than this. Oh man. Gwendolyn, the things. Alright, alright. Let's, let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill. chill. We well, got yeah, Gwendolyn now. We're going to hop back into ranked mode. Win some games. See if we can get out of this red balloon camp here. And um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. The nice part is I'll finally be able to use my hero here because, as you guys know from episode one, the band towers that I currently can't play with are Tack, Sub, and Quincy. So we can actually use a hero now, which is going to be very, very nice. Very, very nice. Wait, when did I get a balloon bot? Yo, let's place it. Let's place it. Let's go. Balloon bot has been placed. I don't know when that was unlocked. I'm going to start with a bomb shooter right here. Perfect. Oh, what a what a tack spot from XX Divine 0223 there. All right, guys, I I know that lots of these matches aren't gonna be super interesting because it's not like we're facing good players. But the thing about this is, I've got to be in my A game because if I lose a singular match, guys, I can't play any farther games in the series with Gwendolyn, Dart, Boomerang, or Bomb and. Losing bomb would be very, very bad. So, you never know. Also, sometimes you might become, come, I might come across someone else in these lower arenas who's like doing a similar thing to me where they're like starting over. Because I've done speed runs before and sometimes there's some sweats in these lower arenas. So, we're, we're just going to have to stay on our A game. Even though a lot of these guys are going to be complete noobs. We'll have to stay on our A game here. Right now we got the Gwendolyn bomb combination. How does this do against yellow balloons? It's actually doing pretty good. Gwendolyn's kind of... Gwendolyn's kind of heating it up, you know what I'm saying? Gwendolyn's kind of heating it up for us. Be picking up what I'm putting down, guys. Alright. Let's get my cluster here in a second. Come on. There we go. I did leak, which is fine, because they leaked first, so I got the first blood there. I've also got the cocktail available, which is great. Um... Anything I can do to my opponent? Not really. They've got, they've got um, enough defense for these early rounds at least. We can try some greens and some whites on them. Maybe if I do a little bit of a layer action and balloon boost. Okay, we forced a boost on their end. I'll take that. They've got Gwendolyn as well. Okay. But they placed their Gwendolyn super late. Let's upgrade my bomb. Does this defend white balloons? Let's see. Curious. That uh, defends them kind of. Maybe if I put this on last, it'll do better. Might be more consistent targeting wise. Dartling, okay. Dartling tax sub is their loadout choice. The fair loadout. Dartling actually did receive a a buff in the recent update. Not well, it received a nerf. It's paired with Alchemist, but it received a buff to Laser Shock. So Laser Shock's cheaper for them. That's two boosts used for my opponent. Alright, that's great. They're placing everything in their Gwyn's range, which is interesting. So when their Gwyndolin gives it the heated up buff, um, all their towers will be buffed from that. Now let's get heavy bombs here. 
We're chilling. They use Firebomb. I can't send them Region Zebras next round, which is a bit of a sad part, because I think Region Zebras would be dangerous to them. We can try... Oh, I should not try Purples. I should try um, Normal Zebras, I meant. We can try Normal Zebras. Uh, looks like they're good, dude. They boost. Okay, well, they're dead round... Dead round 11. I can defend round 11 on boost pretty easily with my stuff. They got up in overdrive. I don't think that's enough. Oh! I, well, with the Gwyn buff on it, it's actually kind of crazy, though. When the Gwyn buffed their overdrive, it gets the extra pierce. And that actually kind of got close, dude, surprisingly. Overdrive, two pierce is kind of nuts. Oh, who's that nerd who's number two on the leaderboard? I bet I bet he has doesn't have a YouTube channel or a um a creator code that all of you should put in right now. But alright, let's go on to the next game. Let's let's keep him rolling, boys. Alright, we're against Amy here. What she got for us, Amy? And we'll we're on Dino Graveyard, why not? I think I'll probably go boomerang on this map. As my starting tower. Dart Monkey doesn't seem the best. I don't think Dart Monkey's the best on this map and Bomb isn't good on Dino Graveyard either. So yeah, let's run Boomer. Switch its hand. Perfect. They're going Glue. Okay. Glue Quincy is definitely an interesting decision, Amy. I don't Amy, listen. We're gonna we're gonna have to figure things out here. I don't know what you're doing with your glue gunners, but the glue gunners don't pop any balloons unless you get corrosive glue on it. So not sure if you're new to the game, Amy, but. Blue Gunner's not a very good um starting tower for you there. The bomb shooter can do some stuff though, Amy. So bomb shooter's not a bad decision. Just bomb's not the best on this map. Oh, they're upgrading their glues. We're gonna balloon boost out of you. Alright, another tip for you, Amy. When you're leaking this many lives, it's a good thing to tower boost. You can press spacebar on your keyboard, or if you're on phone, you can hit that um that little monkey icon. And it will it'll help you out a little bit. All right, looks like they're, the glue gunners are actually helping their defense, though, believe it or not, because they're slowing down the balloons and grouping them up more so then the bomb gets better value per explosion. So I don't know if that's Amy's goal here. Could be. We're going to Bloom Boost again. You know, you've got to teach them one way or another how to defend the balloons, bro. I could play it easy on them and be like, oh, I'm not going to send you anything, Amy. You can go late game with me, but nah, bro. We just got to end it round four sometimes. Sometimes that's just how it's got to go. I'm sorry, Amy. All right, let's unlock a tower. I'm at a thousand. I'm at a thousand monkey money, bro. I'm bowling right now. Let's get something. We get Dartling. We get farm. Mm -hmm. Dartling's probably my favorite tower, though. Let's go for Dartling. I love Dartling, dude. I love some Dartling. All right, Boppy. Can you do better than Amy is the question. Mr. Boppy here. What do I switch Darling out for? I'm gonna switch Darling for Bomb because Darling and Bomb are gonna be two of my most valuable towers here. So I don't want to use them in the same loadout, right? Because if I lose a game, then I can't play Darling or Bomb, which is not gonna be smart for me. So we'll run Darling here. Switch out for Bomb. And we will start with my Gwendolyn, because why not? They start with their Quincy, fair enough. Quincy Wizard, okay. I see you, I see you, Boppy. Already starting off better than Amy. Amy started off with a glue gunner, dude. Let me tell you, Boppy. Amy was Amy was doing some things there. Alright. Looks like Gwendolyn's doing fine. Looking fine as well, let me tell you. Okay. Let's get up my um Dartling Gunner here pretty soon. I wanna get that in the probably the back. Or do I want to leave a space for the... Let's leave it. Let's put it not all the way in the back. Let's leave a space for the HRP later. Okay, they have the guided magic on their wizard. Is there anything I can do against that? Oh, there's, no, I can't really do anything. They have a wall of fire now. We'll let him be. The wall of fire is too strong, guys. It's too strong. It needs massive nerfs right now. Alright, I wanted to see if Gwendolyn and Darling could defend spaced pinks, which they surprisingly almost do. 
I'm kind of testing the waters here a little bit because I don't really use Gwendolyn much, so I want to see how much how much help it really does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can use this cocktail soon. Once these balloons start to overrun me a little bit. Oh, look at that. The fire ability, though, kind of goes crazy. Alright, let's use cocktail now. I want to see how long I can greed without getting a 0 2 2 dartling against these white and black balloons here. We're doing fine at the moment. When does the Gwendolyn also apply the fire, like the burny stuff effect to balloons? I don't know. Oh, they stopped sending me. Because the burny stuff effect on the balloons definitely helps out. They got Bamoa Mauler, dude. There's, I'm telling you guys, there's something with these lower arena players. They love building up Moa Maulers to just defend regular, like, the eco balloons. <laughs> That's not the point of a Moa Mauler. Oh, it's level six. Oh, you don't get that for a while, actually. I thought you got that sooner. Level 6 is kind of late, I feel, to get that up. Attacks cause a burn effect on target balloon. So I don't think I'll be... I think if he sent me constant blocks, I would have needed my 0 2 dart thing, unfortunately. But maybe if I had the burn effect earlier, then I would have been able to chill. Okay, they got up a dragon's breath. Oh, I need to send in them purples. I'm kind of... I'm kind of washed, chat. Uh, they might be fine anyways, though. How are we dealing with these purple balloons? Pretty fine. Pretty good here. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. All right, let's stop trolling. Let's stop trolling. All right, Boppy. Let's see it. Can you rush me? Are you going to rush? Oh, he sends me a rush. Nicely done. Boppy's got the rushes in his, in his um, arsenal. Alright, I think I can get purples through that. Eh, that's a GG, Boppy. You put up a good fight, though, brother. You put up a good fight. We learned some things about Gwendolyn as well there. You know, these games aren't necessarily a waste, because I'm learning a little bit about these Gwendolyn hero that I've never really used in all Masters, but they did buff it a lot in the rec recent updates, so. Alright, guys, I wanted to test something with Gwendolyn here for our next match. So the Gwendolyn, when it put, applies like the fire thing around it, it actually applies a buff to your heroes in the range while it's doing that. So a buff to your towers in the range, I should say, while it's doing that. So I want to see if I could place a Gwendolyn next to my dart, where my dartling will be, and if that would buff it. I think it gives pierce or something, which would be pretty interesting. Yeah, like right there. You see what I'm talking about? So then when the does the fire spread around it, maybe I'll apply pierce to some or something in my dartling here. Could be a pretty smart, um pretty smart combination. Hopefully my opponent doesn't die before then though. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna chill on the eco sense here. I'll let this guy I'll let this guy play the game a little bit because I want I really just want to test the fire and see if it adds the extra pierce to my dartling. This is the main thing I want to test here. It should be on the last. Okay, they're defending fine. If I sent them group blues, I think they'd struggle, but they're doing good at the moment. How much does a um Okay, that is I'm curious how much this costs. Laser shock, faster barrel spin darling. Because I wonder if this will defend white balloons as well. I'm just testing stuff right now, guys. This is a good this is a good time to test some combinations too. Because you never really go for this dartling in most games, but. If it works, it could be good because it's an easy stepping stone into Hydro Rocket Pods. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, chat? I mean, it should defend pink balloons fine. But the question is, does it defend whites? Okay, look at that. It does apply the effect. Look at that. I think I get extra pierce there. Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for. I can put the cocktail right here as well so it catches the balloons at the end, which will be smart. But I need him to send me white balloons, because that's really what I want to test. Yeah, you can see the dartling gets extra pierce when it's affected like this, which is the nice part. I need this man to send me whites. Please. Oh, black balloons. Okay, perfect. Let's see how we do here. With the extra... Oh, well, 
we shredded them, but he, he's not sending me enough. All right, we're, we're getting overrun slowly. But we have the cocktail too, which is the nice part about this start. We've got the cocktail as well. When we have the when we have the pierce buff on it though, it's pretty nasty. Not gonna cap there. Pierce buff definitely makes it pretty good. I think here we just start off with the darling like this, right? And then round nine region zebras. We might struggle a little bit, but we have cocktail to help us out for those. And then we might just be able to stri straight up save up for the HRP here. So then we don't have to like um waste a bunch of money selling and rebuying darlings like you normally would. I think it's a good way to play it out. Okay. Yeah, we're actually handling group blacks pretty well here. With the with the heated up buff applying to my darling every now and then. Okay, send me send me zebras. Well I guess you, I guess you can't send me region zebras here. How long does this cocktail last for? Okay, yeah, we're actually shredding zebras here. So the cocktail is a good a good move against zebras. And then um if I were to do this, I can get the hydro rocket pods pretty easily here, so. It's a it's a W play. It's a W play. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a bad um not a bad way to play it out. I can afford my HRP really easily here. But yeah. All right, do I put this man out of his misery now. I think I do. But we're learning stuff, chat. You know, like. I learned a lot that game with the Gwendolyn and Darling combination. It's actually pretty strong. Yellow balloons, like if they send me grouped yellows round seven. Well, I guess I have Gwendolyn, right? So even grouped yellows, I can use the cocktail to buy me so much time there. Because the normal Gwendolyn compared to the science Gwendolyn, the um, the cocktail and stuff lasts a lot longer for the normal Gwendolyn. Science Gwendolyn's cocktail just burns harder. All right, we're at 18 right now, so we need one more match to make it to the big yellow stadium the one with bananas in it guys there's actually no way we faced the one and only once again we faced amy here so this is gonna be the last match here against the infamous amy let's see how this goes they're starting with the amy bro amy there's no way the glue gunner is not it we i think we concluded this after our first match the glue the glue gunner start is not it amy i know you like the glue gunner but come on you haven't learned your lesson yet Oh my gosh, Amy, 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 Amy. We gotta, guys, I, th I think Amy needs some help in the comment section down below. You guys gotta give Amy some tips here because it, it, they're struggling. They're struggling here a little bit. I think they need, I think they need your support. They're upgrading their glue gunner. I think that's a different glue upgrade than they went last time. We're gonna balloon boost these greens. Okay, upgrade your tax That's what I like to see, Amy. That's what I like to see. Get those ta tax shirt upgrade a little bit because that's the only thing really popping balloons right now and the Quincy, of course. But the glues aren't really doing anything for you. We'll send them some blues. Uh, tax shooter might... They got the tax shooter upgrades up. Tax shooter's doing decent here. They might be fighting against the blues, actually. They might be fighting against the blues clues. They got the hot shot on it. Okay, I'm not sure if I would have went for the hot shot personally, but it's not a bad option, I guess. Going for a second tax shooter. See, this is what I'm liking, Amy. You're going for all these tax shooter upgrades instead of the glue upgrades, which glue upgrades are basically useless. And their tax spots aren't even terrible. Like, definitely could use some work, but um, Amy's kind of cooking a little bit. Amy's kind of cooking a little bit this time. We'll get Ricochet on my side here. Gwendolyn can buff my boomerang as well with the heated up thing, right? Yeah, it should be able to, but... The heated up buff, I'm pretty sure, is only pierce, and it's like only like one pierce buff, so that doesn't really do anything for boomerang, where it already has a bunch of pierce by default. It's not like it's a game changer or anything. Not a game changer, chat. Alright, we'll send them... Hmm. Can I kill Amy? In-game, in-game. Send them some black balloons. They use Quincy's ability. They got a tax sprayer up top. Does that tax sprayer have the middle cross path? The extra pierce? I think it does. That's like the first time I've seen someone have a tax sprayer with range. That's actually funny. It was the first time for everything, chat. 
That's what they say. That is what they say. That's blue and boostless. They might be good though. The attack sprayer actually does a pretty good job against these group balloons, not gonna lie. It doesn't do too bad. No, they're f they they're fine, they're fine. They're vibing over there. Vibing and thriving. They got up their farm, nicely done. Let's send them some zebras. Zebras here. They upgrade their farm a little bit, fair enough. We'll balloon boost these. Attack glue farm is quite the loadout. I think they're dead, unless they use Quincy ability or boost or something. Oh? Does Amy clutch up? Nope. GG's. GG's, Amy. It was fun. Alright, well, we learned some things about the Gwyndolin combination today, to be honest, and we made it out of the first arena, so, you know, baby steps, boys, baby steps. You make it one arena at a time here, and you have fun with it. In the yellow stadium now, what's our win rate? 11 for 11. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit like button, subscribe, and forward, as always. Make sure to give Amy some tips in the comment section down below, but that's it for today. Ram like out. Peace, lads.